it's just a really good win. I think you know we we battled all night long. We didn't shoot the ball well again, and uh, got the lead at halftime. Uh, kind of gave it away towards the end, but we did enough to win the game. It's a healthy peck. You see running the floor like you yeah, said yesterday. Yeah, he played he played well. We had a lot of guys contribute tonight. You know, uh, Peck, the guards all played well, and uh, it's a game that we got to have. We got to beat teams in our conference. You know, and. Uh, we had an advantage that they have been on a five-game trip, playing back-to-back. We knew all that, but, you know, give them credit. They came back at the end. We talked a lot this year about consistent defense. seemed like you got the stops when you needed them. Second half, we were <coughs> much better, much better. Actually, the first quarter, we weren't very good at all, uh, transition. But after that, we tightened it up. JJ's really been pretty solid for you in the last five, six games here. Maybe that foot's getting a little bit better. Yeah, he made really good decisions. He made some, some key shots. Says he had eight assists. Uh, you know, he, he had a solid game. You mentioned their their schedule. They couldn't make it easy for you there at the end. And, uh, no, no. Well, we made some mistakes too, and they and they knocked down some threes. Just you know, it seems like that's the way it's going to go. Uh, you know, uh, Gallinari. You know, he's a good shooter. He's shooting twenty eight percent tonight. Four for five. You know, and I thought there's a couple times we we gave them up good looks at where we didn't have, we shouldn't have, but. You know, they, their history is they come at you. They don't stop playing. Do you like the looks that Kevin was getting and just not following? He missed a lot early. He missed <coughs> the basket. I don't know how many times he missed. But, you know, I, I like the way he played. He had 14 rebounds, uh, continued to play, got in foul trouble, but the other guy stepped up. Remember the last time one of your teams had a five-second inbounds call after a timeout? Yeah, I got to get, get on that and see and see if it how, that was an awfully quick five seconds. Usually it's like seven or eight, <laughs> you know, I mean, really. But we should call timeout, and uh, I, I don't know if it was a miscommunication there. You know, when they J.J. told Andre to go and Luke thought he was going to the backcourt to make an easy pass, and he came to the half court. I, you know, I didn't draw it up that way. <laughs> 32 points from the guards, huge. <coughs> yeah, our guards were very good tonight. You know, we, we thought we could uh, play pick and roll against them. We thought we'd get uh, good opportunities, and uh, we did a nice job. You know, we had 25 assists and 13 turnovers, and that, that's going to win games for you. There's a huge free throw disparity. 37 free throws for you guys, 24. Well, we, got to, we were going to the basket. That, that, that all started at the end of the second quarter. Uh, they fouled us, I don't know, five or six times. Uh, and put us on the line. That's what got us ahead. Um, and but I thought we were aggressive to get to the basket. You know that's what usually what their game is. And uh, we did a nice job doing it tonight. Peck uh, defensively was uh, really strong tonight. Pardon me. Peck defensively. Yeah, I thought Peck was good all, all the way around. He he uh, he had 11 rebounds. Uh, he maintained his balance because their guards really like to to get in there. And they do a great job when their guards get into the middle of guys. You know they've got long people and they cut to the basket and uh, it's, it's tough. I mean, they just, like I said, they just keep attacking. Uh, we, can, we wanted to make them an outside shooting team, but they still got 62 points in the paint. But they lead the league in that. that that's their game. When you're giving up so many points in the paint, is it a defensive adjustment you have to make as a coach? Is it simply trying to get them to play harder? No, it's the NBA. <laughs> you have to, people act like, you know, you're not going to just shut down people in this league. What you have to do is, is get enough stops and, and keep at it and keep at it and be mentally tough enough, knowing that that's their strength and they're going to continue to do it. But if you can start them, not we did it in the end of the third quarter, fourth. We got two stops, we scored at the other end, we opened it up. Uh, but you just can't do it all the time. I mean, they're they're too good at it. I mean, that's that's why they that's how they play their game. It was a dicey situation uh, late third quarter when you had to take Andre out, but. Derek Williams at the three didn't hurt you at all, it seemed. No, no, we have to, we have to give those guys rest. I didn't know about Josh uh, until uh, just before the game. Uh, you know, he was under the weather, and then Malcolm gets hurt at halftime, and just, you know, we were very comfortable then losing two guys. Cunningham, hit some, guys. Cunningham hit some big shots yeah. late in the second quarter. Yeah, I, he's, he's played well, you know, all year long. He, he makes that shot. He makes that 15, 17-footer time after time, and, uh, he's got a great understanding about who he is. He doesn't try to do too much. He just takes what's uh, what's given him. Uh, thank goodness he made the free throw at the end there. Is that one of the tougher matchups for Kevin, just because of Fareed's mobility and how he runs the floor? Yeah, he, he's tough. You know, and he's very active. But again, I, I thought Kevin had some really good looks. I thought it was just one of those games where he just he just didn't make shots. Thanks, guys. Thanks.